This hosted National League Queen's Park Rangers at St Paul's Stadium Rotherhithe yesterday in the Capital Cup. Could they reap revenge on QPR for the men's defeat at Loftus Road on Saturday and progress to the quarterfinals of the Cup? Jeff Burnage picks up the story and speaks post-match to captain Grace Seeley and joint manager Alex Russell. Ball Lionesses venge Saturday's defeat for the men away to Queen's Park Rangers with a 5-4 penalty victory over QPR women who operate in the uh, FA Women's National League a tier above the Lionesses. Still depleted by injuries and with young 17-year-old goalkeeper Victoria Gmitarek continuing in goal for the illness-struck Chrissy Wiggins, they produced their best performance for some weeks after that defeat by Ebbsfleet last week. They fully deserved to go through because they only went to penalties after Quiz Park Rangers fortunately equalised to make the score 1-1 at full time with the help of a very soft penalty which nobody appealed for for a trip on a Queen's Park Rangers forward. Earlier in the first half on 32 minutes young Clemmie Young starting again at centre forward was put through by under 18 colleague Ella Napper and crashed her shot against the crossbar. Fortunately Maisie Garwood was following up to score and put Millwall 1-0 up. Young was replaced with 20 minutes to go by a debutant centre forward also from the young under 18 team in Maya Bethelmy and both her and Clemmy had done really well to occupy the Queen's Park Rangers defence but it was Gmitter X day when it went to penalties you looked to the goalkeeper and she saved twice to put the Lionesses through when Ella Bailey at four all slotted home really confidently to put the Lionesses through. I was able to catch up with skipper Grace Seeley after the match and asked her for her thoughts. Well, that was a great game, Grace. How did you see it? Hi, uh, yeah, no, it was a, a great game. A really, um, it was a battle from start to finish. I think it was very even. I think both teams brought a lot to the table. The youngsters today, for me, were kind of the stars of the show. That showed in, the, in our first goal. And when Clemmy kind of hit the bar, it, it rebounded off, and, and Ellen put a great ball into to Maisie. So just so good to see the, the youngsters come in and step up and do a, and do a job for us. I think we would have really struggled without them today. And your young goalkeeper. And a young goalkeeper. Goalkeeper. I think we had so much confidence in, in her. We've seen her kind of make, make saves at the under 18 level. And throughout the game, you know, we felt really comfortable playing out from the back with her. And also when we went into penalties, there was kind of full, full confidence in her. And ultimately, she, she saved the penalty that went on to, to give us the opportunity to, for Ella to, to win us the game. And let's hope for a home draw in the next round. Yeah, fingers crossed. We love playing at home. So, um, yeah, let's do it. Thanks, Grace. Cheers. Thank you. I was also able to catch up with uh, joint manager Alex Russell. Alex, very pleasing today. What was your thoughts? Yeah, definitely. Uh, very pleasing. We limited them to very few chances. I think their goal was probably fortunate in their case. Um, you know, we, we created lots. Plenty of young blood in there today. Clemmy, Victoria, Maya, all getting on uh, and getting involved. All contributing to the game and, and just a really stand-up performance from our midfield today, which we probably lacked last week. And able to make substitutions who actually came on and took the winning penalties. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Two of the two of the substitutes came on, both in uh, in Shea Bennett and Ella Bailey, and took, both, pen, both took penalty and Ella took the winner. Thanks, Alex.